Okay, um, just bear with me a moment. I'm trying a new um, setup to see whether this actually works. Um, and if it does, then I will actually be live in three places. It's not playing ball at the moment. Just bear with me a moment. Um, okay, it looks as though I'm just live in my page, but just give me two seconds. Okay. Um, doesn't look as though it's going to do what I hoped it would do. Um, just bear with me. Right, I've put a link to that there, so I now need to just... Go back into there so I can make sure that I can see everyone that joins and any comments. Enlarge that. Okay, so hopefully people will be able to find me. I'm going to, well, it's driving me mad this Facebook issue really is. So I'm going to have to see if I can find another way of um, doing things. But okay also being told it's a slow connection it shouldn't be but bear with me right i'm gonna turn the camera around hi <laughs> um thanks for joining me if you've managed to find me it's most appreciated it's uh can you believe we've got like less than a week till christmas and um i'm not feeling at all christmasy at the moment i've got loads to do this week but uh I wanted to have a play with a new suite that will be in the January book and um, I've got all sorts of ideas, product sample suite and a class and all sorts going on with it at the moment. So, um, but just so that get you as excited about it as I am, because it really is lovely, I thought I'd pop on and um, show you it and make some cards. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around. If you do happen to find me, then um, pop a comment in the in the comments field. Let me know you're there and I will um, try and keep up with any comments and say hello. Okay, so I'm going to just turn the camera around. Okay, so I can't show you the um, catalogue. I just want to make sure that we've got with light enough. It might be okay. Sometimes you get more shadow than it's worth having lights on. That one's possibly a bit too much. It has a at least stopped raining. No, oh, I don't know. I haven't got my other light on the other side, so it might be better without it. Yeah, it's at least stopped raining, so that's one good thing. It's absolutely chucked it down here all day so far. Right, so this, um, I'll start off with the DSP. It's perennial lavender, so that will give you an idea of the colours involved. Um, now, if you if you know me well, you will know that I am a big fan of the colour purple, and um, I also love lavender. So, here's some of the DS. Here is the DSP. So there's this one first of all. So you've got some nice crumb cake as well. Um, there's lots of colours, lots of lovely colours in here. I'll just get the pack so I can show you the... You've got 
Blackberry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Lost Lagoon, Orchid Oasis, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce and Starry Sky. So they're really, really pretty. Okay, so there's, that's the first one. And because I've already cut some up, I'm just going to have to turn these over for two. That is the back. So that's in crumb cake. Okay, so then we have this really pretty one. And the card um, that I'm going to actually show you is using this. And then on the back we've got this, which is lovely. And then we have this one. And this lovely colour. It's, um, yeah, if I hold it up you might be able to see the detail a bit more. It's great for backgrounds. Uh, then we have... This is actually quite thick, this card, so it's quite deceiving, but it's absolutely beautiful. And this one's got the greens in it, so that's lovely. It would, again, make a brilliant background. Then we have this. Nice little lavenders and this beautiful purple. I hope you can see. I'm just not sure about the lights. Bear with me. Well, that might be better colour wise. And then we have this one here. So they're all 12 by 12. Okay, and that's got a nice checkered background. So that's the um, design the series paper. So as part of the suite, so I can't show you the catalogue, but I just do need to read off of it. As part of the suite, you get um, the gorgeous papers. You get some purple shimmery gems in three colours. Again, lovely. Absolutely do. I love these. The minute I saw this, I knew it was going to be something that I was going to be ordering. Um, you get these paper butterflies. As you can see, I've already used a couple and I'll show you those in a moment. But they are you get 40 pieces, so you've got eight sheets of five sizes and they're white, but you can colour them. As you can see, I've used blender brushes there. You can colour them in any colours you want to suit um, and you can colour either side. So you can have them facing whichever way you want to. So they're lovely. And then we have the stamp sets, which is, so we've got the painted lavender, and this is a photopolymer one. And you've got um, lots of different size lavender flowers, and this nice little grassy bit with lavender in it. And some leaves and some butterflies and then this one here also lots of lovely um, sentiments including a happy mother's day so that'll be really useful um, now as long as as well as um, two sets of stamps there are two sets of dies so the painted lavender dies are like this and 
there are so this one and this one go with the um let me just pop that up there so this cuts this one out that stem cuts that one out then we've got that one will cut that just try and get these off of here they always stick really hard that one is for there that cuts that one um, and obviously we've got a little um, die for here and for the butterflies and then the other ones are just dies that you can then sort of leafy dies these ones oh you've got two of these so that's good and then this they're just other leafy bits that you can then add flowers to okay so let's just pop those all there out of the way and then the perennial postage dies these are and these are really nice varying sizes obviously these won't all fit in the mini um cutting emboss machine but a lot of them do i think it's probably only the two biggest ones that wouldn't maybe only the biggest actually but you've got like a little um postmark embossing with a butterfly on it a tag um, so you can make these into tags most of them have got the edging all the way around but this one is just on the two sides okay so that's the sweet just on oh, this this is um they've used this little one to cut out um like a tag top as well as this one or you could put it as um like a little um hole to put ribbon through if you were making like a bag or something so just check in double check in to make sure i've shown you everything that's yeah so that's the sweet and the sweet is um 119.25 so obviously when um, celebration, this will be on from the 4th of January until uh, the end of April. Um, but obviously during celebration for every £45 you would be able to choose a free item as well. So that is a really good bargain um right so i've already made some cards so i'll just show you these quickly because that they are very easy um and it's using the designer series paper and as you can see these are the the lovely postage perennial postage um dies they, they work really well together and I've just added a um, linen bow, double bow, and some of the brushed ba bra ugh, brushed brass butterflies. Okay, and then I've just stamped a couple of times the um, lavender in uh, the same ink. So that's the first one really simple but really pretty again this is another piece of the designer series paper this is the one where it sort of goes corner to corner and here's one of the butterflies as you can see I've added um, pretty peacock and gorgeous grape to it using a blender brush and then I've added some of the gorgeous little gems. They really are pretty. OK, 
Okay, so they're just straightforward. And that's the butterfly stamp. Isn't that cute? So these are really just straightforward cards. Nothing technical or difficult. So anyone could make those. And they only take a few minutes. Okay, so the one that I'm going to show you today or make a similar one is a, um, a bay window card. It's called a bay window because when you open it, it stands up like that. Now, some people put um, something here to tuck that in to stop it, but actually... I've got a piece of designer series paper there and it holds it perfectly well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Oh, and can you see that lovely butterfly? I have gone over it in, um, I don't know whether you can see it on there. Gone over it in a bit of pretty peacock and there is a bit of purple on there. But there's also a... Um, Wink of Stella. I'm just trying to see. I can see it glistening perfectly. I'm just trying to see whether it doesn't really show up very well on camera, which is a shame. But um, so, yes, yeah, so that's the card we're going to be making. Let me just pop these out the way so they don't get damaged. And we'll start. So for the base, um, we have a 11 and a half inch by four inches. And I haven't got my centimeters on here. Let me just bear with me. The other side of this pad has the centimeters. So it is 29.2 centimeters by 10.8 just going to check that i have cut this down oh i haven't cut it down this is showing need to cut it down because that's i thought that was a bit wrong um this is still four and a quarter and we of course use four inches so hence why it was a bit bigger than i was expecting so it's actually 10.1 centimeters Okay, and uh, I don't know about you, but I keep <laughs> I keep all of these strips. Um, you can make cards with them. Okay, so we've got our base to start with, and I'm going to just bring in my scoreboard. Try not to knock everything about. Okay, so we're going to start scoring at this side here. Okay, so first of all, you need to score along the top side at half an inch. I will do the centimetres in just one moment. And then two inches, four inches. Five and a half inches and five and three quarters. Okay, so that can now go out the way. Okay, so for scoring wise on centimeters, you would be scoring at. Um, 13 so 
13, um, that's not 13 centimetres, that's 1.3 centimetres, 13 millimetres. Trying to see without knocking the camera. Um, 5.1, 14 centimetres and 14.6. So I know you can't actually see where that is, but I've just re say, read those off to you. Um, and they will all be on my blog um, later today. OK. So now we have our scored piece of card. Just going to dig out my bone folder and I'm just going to reinforce that so that will stay down we'll glue that bit down that little piece shortly but the next score line the next one over is coming up the other way so you score in half then you've got um valley fold then we're going to do a mountain fold valley fold and a mountain fold and I think I've just done that completely wrong so we'll start that again Valley fold, mountain fold, mountain fold. And then a valley fold so that it goes like that. Okay, so that's the main base. I'm just going to, I've got my layer to go in here. I've got a bit of... Um, I don't know what it is, it looks like a little bit of a smudge but I think it's just a mark in the paper itself. So I'm going to stamp on there first of all um, and I'm going to use this this kit, this stamp set. I've already used a few um, so I think I shall continue with this one. Send in love and best wishes. It's a really nice sentiment that will go in any card really and my Highland Heather ink pad now obviously these are red rubber so you don't need to have a um, stamping mat underneath Okay, so there's that one and just just to add a bit on here I'm going to use this um, this lavender stamp just to give a bit of extra detail find my glue right so this one can actually just be stuck straight in as it is let's pop that out the way a moment we don't want to get covered in purple ink so it is the normal size mat so it's um three and three quarter inches by five and a half and this section here will just go up to, over it slightly but that's fine I didn't think it was worth chopping down the mat just a little bit and then if you run a small piece small line of glue across 
the edge there on that one you can then just stick that down okay so the other bits of stamping that we will want is some lavender and also I've I've already pre-cut um, this one simply because I've run out of space at the moment I'm gonna have a really good sort out hopefully over um, Christmas and try and uh, try and make sure I've got a bit more space for um, for stamping and for having everything on okay so that's one in Highland Heather and this is gorgeous great There with me, I've just got to go back into right. Um, yep, yeah, so that's Highland Heaven and Gorgeous Grapes, as you can see, the two different colour on that. Um, I'm going to, I might actually stamp in Gorgeous Grape with Sentiment this time. Way. Um, no, I haven't I haven't put all of these together yet, so what's that one? You are amazing or simple something like that. You're simply marvellous. So I'm gonna use that one. Um, and it does fit into this onto here really well. I love the the difference in the um, the font. Yeah, you know, the the very simple capital letters, and then this lovely curvy flowing bit as well. That's uh, so. On my other one, I actually, here on this, I actually went over it all with um, a blending brush. But I'm going to use a bit of a sponge. And I'm just, because I don't want it all over. I just want to dab the edges, really. And um, it sounds as though someone's having a tree shredded or something outside, so I'm hoping you don't hear that as loudly as I do okay you can use um, a bit of a sponge or a sponge dauber or you could use the blending brushes but it just just adds to the uh, sentiment that I've got a bit on my thumb so I've got to be careful now Pop that one away and the last bit of stamping I'm going to do is the stem for these two and I'm stamping this in pretty peacock so I'll stamp one first generation and then a second generation to go with the lighter ink okay so that's the stamping and once I've run those through my cut and emboss machine I get these okay um, 
so yeah so that's really easily put together the um just lost my but butterfly so i'm gonna do i don't want one of these big butterflies at the moment i don't think i think it's it might be too big on the front with the yeah so i'm gonna get another pack out and i'll show you these are so so simple to take out some of them will come out easier <laughs> but you've got as you can see you've got different sizes and some fly in and the, these are I suppose they do look as though they're flying but maybe they're sat as well so I'm going to use this one um, and I'm just going to add a bit of colour to it if I can open my ink pads again so I've got my blending brushes and I'm gonna put a bit more a bit more purple on this one I think so I'm gonna use the gorgeous grape and as when you're blending um, you know backgrounds and that you do need to start off of what you're adding it to so that you don't get a massive like brush mark like this you want it to be sort of gentler than that and then you can just add it as much as you want on there and again starting off And just going over it until you're happy with the colours that you've got on there. Okay, so really easy to uh, to colour. You could use blends as well, or um, any of our colouring. You know, you could use a um, pencil the water pencils or the right markers anything really to color them just depends on how how you want them to look what effect you want okay so that's all the messy bit out the way so i'm just going to leave that there for a moment and i'm going to bring my trimmer back in so that we can cut um, this and I've just realized what I've done. I've actually stamped here um, when I want a piece of um, DSP to go up there I should have stamped somewhere else but it's, it's not a problem. Okay so this is four and three quarters so a quarter of an inch smaller and the first panel is an inch and a quarter so I'll just put that there the second one is one and three quarter inches and then again one and a quarter And another at one and a quarter. Oh no, we'll do this one as well. So this is only half an inch wide. So you only want a really, really tiny piece. So it's going to be like quarter of an inch. So it's very, very small. Okay, and then an inch and a quarter of 
for that inside sheet. Let's pop that out the way now because we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to just put this one in first of all. Just going to cover over that stamped image. What a shame, but it doesn't matter. It still looks really pretty with that on it. Okay, then if you lie this flat, it will make it slightly easier. So I'm leaving it's about an eighth of an inch border all the way round. So I'm just lining it up by eye as best I can. Um, if you're, if you prefer things to be exact then um, you could see measure it and that but you know it is handmade so it's it's okay to be slightly off but I don't think I don't think it's noticeable if it is Okay, so that's all the sticking. As I say, that will stay open like that. Just have to tweak it a bit. So the next bit is sticking these bits on. So I generally I'm putting putting this, it doesn't matter whether you put it in the sort of in the middle or slightly up. I think it's better if it's slightly up because then you've got room to fit your um your lavender and that on. Just pop those over, add a bit of glue and put the stems. Stick the stems on. And these butterflies, they are quite delicate, but what you can do is just bend up the, uh, the wings slightly. Just be ever so gentle. They don't take a lot to, to bend. And then it gives it a bit more of a 3D dimension. So we're going to put one of these. I think I'll stick this down first because at least then it will be easier to decide where to put the other bits. sticky fingers and oh dear right so I'm gonna pop that about there and then I'm gonna I want to pop I don't want all of the stems because they're a bit big so I'm just gonna Just going to snip those off. Let's find my paper snips and if I just cut them straight to start with, and then I'm just going to mm. 
round it off a little bit just to get rid of that blunt blunt edge okay so a bit more glue that can be so I've stuck that onto the actual sentiment layer And then this one, I'm going to stick on top of there. Should just put a bit of glue underneath there just so that I could stick that down. Okay. And now I can work out, I'm just going to bend that one again, just so it stays up better. Okay, so I want my butterfly sort of maybe around here. So you've only got, I want it lifted up, so I'm going to use some little tiny slivers of dimensionals off of the edge um, and I'm gonna only I've lost that bit already look where did that go then this is the only problem when they're so small you <laughs> and you drop them you can't then find them again so I'll use a different one ah, look I found it it's, can you see it's stuck on there right so I want that bit down there and then this bit might be it's just to stick it slightly down okay like that and then, because we haven't really got much bling on there at the moment, we have got no bling in fact, I'm going to just add some of these gorgeous gems and you know they'll go, all three colours will fit on here nicely. So, there's two different sizes, I do tend to prefer the smaller ones. I'm going to pop that there. And there. And up there, just. Move that out of the way. And that is then. The completed card what you can do is just um should have done this first just give that an extra bend and then that way and it will catch some reason it's not because I think it's because it's on the grid paper but it will it will open up and stay like that okay so that's um, the card that I wanted to show you how to make something slightly different there's the first one and then the two straightforward simple cards but these are just um, just a few ideas um, just to show really the how beautiful but how easy 
the designer series paper and that is to use um, I'm really looking forward to uh, designing some more cards using this set and um, hopefully people will uh, will like it as much as I do okay well I'm uh, I'm quite happy with that I've done what I wanted to do today and um, I will be posting this obviously on face on yeah on Facebook in the groups and um, also on my YouTube channel so uh, do um, do catch it again and if you want to um, if you want to post your any makes that you make once you've got hold of this lovely kit then uh, feel free to post on my Facebook page and groups as well. I'd love to see your uh, your makes. Okay, thanks for joining me. Take care and have a good Christmas. It's only a week away, less than. Okay, bye.